Hello everyone, welcome to BioTales. Today we are going to talk about a disease that is called Edison's disease in dogs. Hypoadrenocorticism, that is also called Edison's disease, is primarily a disease of dogs and occur only rarely in cats. This condition is heritable and most commonly affects dogs of four breeds that are standard poodles, Portuguese water dogs, Nova Shiotica duck tolling retrievers, and bearded collies. Other commonly affected breeds include West Highland White Terriers, Great Pyrenees, and Wheaton Terriers. Addison's disease is the common name of hypoadrenocorticism that is a condition which is characterized by decreased hormone synthesis from the adrenal's gland outer section or cortex. Now let's see what are the adrenal glands and what do they do? The adrenal glands are tiny paired glands found near the kidney. Each gland contains an outer cortex and an interior medulla. The glands generate two key hormones that govern a wide range of bodily activities and are required for survival. Cortisol is a stress hormone and aldosterone regulates the amount of sodium and potassium in the body. Sodium and potassium levels are essential for keeping the body's fluid equilibrium. Now we see what causes Addison's disease. The primary cause of Addison's disease in dogs is immune-mediated destruction of adrenal tissue. Trauma, infection, and cancers are less prevalent cause of adrenal gland injury. Addison's disease can also develop after therapy for Cushing disease that is hyperadrenocorticism that is a condition in which too much cortisol and aldosterone are generated. If the drugs used to treat Cushing's illness accidentally surpasses or destroys the adrenal gland, cortisol and aldosterone insufficiency may occur. A secondary type of Addison's disease can be caused by a tumor or a malfunction in the pituitary gland, a key hormonal regulator in the brain. Secondary Addison's disease can develop if a dog has been treated with long-term steroid for any reason and then the medicine is abruptly discontinued. This last syndrome, known as iatrogenic hypoadrenocorticism, is typically short-term. Now we see what are the clinical signs of hypoadrenocorticism. Clinical symptoms of Addison's disease can usually be vague and non-specific, which means that no specific signs indicate a diagnosis. Edisonian individuals may exhibit lethargy, diarrhea, vomiting, increased thirst, increased urination, unintentional weight loss. Intermittent shaking episodes are sometimes observed. The indication may appear and disappear. Non-specific medical treatments such as administrating fluid or corticosteroid tend to help momentarily, but the symptoms return quickly. If a pet exhibits recurring bouts of abrupt lethargy, diarrhea, and vomiting, increased thirst and urination, or other non-specific sickness, Addison's disease should be investigated as underlying cause. Now let's see that what constitutes an Edisonian crisis. This illness can sometimes present with far more dangerous symptoms such as abrupt weakness, severe vomiting, and diarrhea, and even collapse. This is an Edisonian crisis which is considered a medical emergency. Immediate hospitalization and supportive therapy are required. Now we see that how Addison's disease can be diagnosed. The diagnosis of Addison's disease is based on your pet's medical history, including any medication, clinical indicators, and the result of routine blood and urine testing, including electrolyte imbalance. The ACTH stimulation test is the most definitive way to diagnose Addison's disease. Cortisol levels are monitored before and after injecting a synthetic variant of ACTH. 
Additional testing such as basal cortisol level, natural plasma, ACTH, electrocardiogram, ECG, radiography, x-rays or abdominal ultrasound may be conducted to rule out any other cause of your pet's clinical indication. In rare cases, an MRI or CT scan may be required to diagnose a pituitary gland disease. Now we see how Addison's disease can be treated. After diagnosis, most dogs with Addison's disease can be successfully treated. Desoxycorticosterone, pivalent, also known as DOCP, is an injectable medication approved by FDA for treatment of Addison's disease in dogs. It is injected every 3 to 4 weeks, depending on the patient, and replaces the missing mineralocorticoid aldosterone. It is often supplemented by an oral glucocorticoid. With little training, DOCP injections can be given at home. DOCP is not for every dog, and some Addison's patients do best on oral medications that replaces both the mineralocorticoid and the glucocorticoid, such as fludrocortisone. Your dog's diet and activity levels can often remain unchanged. The majority of dogs resume normal lives even after an Edisonian crisis. Your veterinarian will discuss Edison's treatment options with you and decide which therapy is best for your dog. The great majority of the individuals with Edison's disease have a favorable to excellent prognosis if diagnosed and treated with the right drug. Your veterinarian will provide you information about your pet's long-term prognosis. Nossos.